Hate week. Hate week! What's up, y'all? It's Fox Court King 215. Week 3. In the Russian Steelers. Preview. Great ass news, y'all. I'm going to this game. I'm going to this game. I am going to this game. Alright. Eagles versus Steelers, week three. Alright. Pittsburgh versus Philly. The Pennsylvania game, whatever you want to call it. You already know we fired up. You already know when we fired up. You already know it. Alright. There's a good chance we may lose this game. But nonetheless, there's always a chance we can win and we may win. <laughs> Pittsburgh, they're not exactly full strength either. Yeah, our receivers got butterfingers dropping balls and shit, but <laughs> hey, we still winning games. But hey, I want that shit to stop, but we can still win games nonetheless. Alright, get into this bad boy for real now. Uh, Carson Wentz. You are a stud, my man. You are a real stud. Damn, you doing a shit that nobody ever sees from most rookie quarterbacks. I don't I don't think people ever saw that from Nav when he first started out. Um I don't think you seen that from any, any really any rookie quarterback. I mean, I can't say I never seen any, I haven't seen all rookie quarterbacks, but I don't think they have displayed the professionalism that this man has displayed on the field so far. Calling out players, uh, doing audibles, knowing when to change formations, to back out, out of the damn eye, and turn to the shotgun, give himself room, pass the ball when he sees a blitz coming. Like, this man, this man got brains. He got fucking brains. Like, he knows what he's doing. He knows what to do. This man knows what he's doing for real. Like, he playing looking like a damn, playing like a vet, you know? You feel me on that? This man's playing like a vet. Carson Wentz, like I said in my last review on the Bears, man, I know you're not watching this, but still, I'm going to say this shit anyway. You got to learn how to slide, learn how to get down, learn how to save yourself for another play, preserve yourself, little play another down, you know? You are present and future quarterback. We need you for the long term. So you gotta learn how to slide, protect yourself, and stop taking them hits like that, man. You cannot do that. Cause, damn. You know, we need you for the future, man. We invested a lot in you. We need you bad. And I think this man, like, I took a bet with somebody you all bet. I told y'all that already. This man's gonna be the guy to do it. And I'll die by them words. Shit. And I still die by them words. I'm gonna live by them words. He's gonna be the man to do it for us. Because he will take us there. He will do it. <sighs> Alright. Um, still, as you know, Big Ben, always straight up defense, you know. Uh, uh, playing man plays hurt. Man's a damn warrior. I give him the credit, you know. I'm a big fan of Big Ben. Uh, that's all I pretty much say about him. You know, man's a beast. Um, he's actually he's worth look, look, being looked at as a Hall of Famer. Super winning quarterback, two time. Um, mean about that, you know. Shit, I don't know much about the team to really talk about. Them. I know their second day isn't all that either. So there's a good chance Carson Wentz might just come out with another one and shred their defense up too. Who know? Who knows? He. Carson Wentz might shred his defense up like he Tom fucking Brady. You never know. I mean, it's a good chance we're going to take that L. I'm not going to lie. Them last games, you know. Oh, you know. It's just the Cleveland Browns. Oh, it's just the weak-ass Chicago Bears team. You know, with Jay fucking Cutler playing quarterback on his dumb shit. You know, he don't give a fuck. He's a quitter. Once this game goes bad, he don't give a fuck about anything. Oh, my thumbs hurt, so I'm going to lead a field, you know. And I don't give a fuck. Fuck it all. But you get what I'm saying. I get that. But point is, a win is a win. And this is our real test against the damn Steelers. And I think it's a good chance we might lose, like I said. But there's always a chance that we may win. Which is what I'm hoping for, always, of course. 
If you want like a result in this game, man, prediction, I say Steelers win 27-21. That's what I'm saying. And that's where I'm going to leave it at. If we win, I'll say... Fuck. Probably 21-14. I don't know. I'm not usually good with predictions. I don't know. I can't predict anything. But you know, in the end, it's going to come down to the wire. It's going to be a close game, in my feeling. I feel it. That's about it. I feel it's going to be a close game. If it is a blowout, you know it's because you know what Eagles are always doing that dumb shit. Jason, I'm saying Jason Matthews. Jordan Matthews. <laughs> Chopping balls and shit. No, Nelson Aguilar, he can't catch save his damn life. Like, I don't know why Aguilar is still here. Put Paul Turner in place of that bitch. Get Aguilar off this damn roster. All in all, it's going to be a close game. I'm going to this game. Uh, shit. I don't know. I, I can't remember what role my ticket was. So, you know what? Fuck it. It is what it is. Um, I'll say all that. If I haven't make another video about this week. So, all in all, that's that. Go Birds!